In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and export transparent GIFs right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get right into it. So once we've opened up Adobe After Effects and we are inside of Adobe After Effects, we need to begin by creating a brand new composition. So we're gonna go new composition and we can rename this to GIF. Make that 1920 by 1080. Frame rate can be 23.976. Everything else is fine. Press OK on this. And now we need to go into our Finder and we need to drag some footage from our Finder into Adobe After Effects. So find your footage and we'll drag that right into After Effects and we'll drop that on to the timeline. Now, as you can see, I've got this clip of me just wandering around. And in order to make this transparent, we'd want to get rid of the background. So if you shot your footage on a green screen, then all you have to do is just key out the green and remove the background. But if your footage does not have a green screen, you didn't shoot this on a green screen, then we need to rotoscope the person out. So in my example, I'm against the sky. So I need to go ahead and roto brush myself out. So we've got up to this roto brush icon here. Double click on the monitor, and then we're just gonna zoom in just a little bit and then just paint the green around the person. So as you see, this pink outline will surround the person, but there's a little bit of the sky just bleeding through here. So I'm gonna hold Option on the keyboard, and we're just gonna paint in this area, and that should remove that. Now, this gray bar, just underneath this green bar, I just need to pull this over to the right to make sure the Roto brush applies for the entire duration of the shot. So. Once that's done, you just want to press the space bar and then you just want to go ahead and let the computer do its thing and analyze the shot. Now, this could take a few minutes, this could take a few seconds. It completely depends on how complicated the shot is, how long the shot is, and how slow or how fast your computer is. So just give your computer a minute to go through this process. Now, I'm just gonna cut that short for the benefit of the tutorial. So I'm just gonna press space on that and then I'm just gonna go back in to the composition GIF window. And as you can see, the background has been successfully removed. So if you go ahead and you press this box just down here, that is the toggle transparency box, you can see there is no background. Okay, so now you have successfully removed the background and you've got your person in the foreground, we need to go ahead and we need to export this as a GIF. But first we need to go ahead and we need to add this to our render queue. So select the video, we'll go up into File, Export, Add to Render Queue. Now inside of Add to Render Queue, you want to go ahead and select Best Settings. Make sure this is Best, Full, 1920 by 1080, and we'll press OK. In the Output Module, we are going to select QuickTime in the Format. Post Render Action can be None. Channels, you want to select RGB and Alpha. Depth should be millions of colors plus, and then this can be pre-multiplied and matted. Press OK, and then you can just select the output path. So I'm just gonna rename this to GIF. We'll add this to our folder, we'll press save, and then we're just gonna render that out. And that's gonna take just a few seconds to do that. Okay, so once that has exported from After Effects, you want to go ahead and open this in Photoshop. So we're gonna go over into Adobe Photoshop. We'll select Open, and then you want to go ahead and you want to find the folder where you exported the GIF into. So that is just here in Wanda Assets. Select GIF, press Open, and Photoshop will take a minute to open that. And once it has done, you can just play through this. And as you can see, there is no background, but we have the person in the foreground like before. So now we need to go ahead and export this as a GIF from Photoshop. So we'll go File, Export, Save for Web, Legacy. And now from here, you want to go ahead and you want to select Original, move the position of this over in to the middle, change the preset into one of these GIFs. So I'm just going to select GIF128 Dithered. Photoshop will take a minute to adjust the settings. And then inside of GIF, you want to make sure that the transparency box is selected. So no transparency dither, make sure transparency is selected, and you can go ahead and you can press save. 
You can save that to wherever you fancy. So I'm going to add that into the same folder. I'm going to put GIF export save. And Photoshop will go ahead and export that GIF from Photoshop. And there you go. If we select that GIF inside of the Finder and we open that with Google Chrome. Now there you go. Inside of Google Chrome, you will see there is a GIF playing. There is no background. It is completely transparent. And that is how you export a GIF from After Effects and Photoshop. So if you found this video useful at all, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. I upload a brand new video every single day and the best way to stay updated is by pressing that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.